Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 19th of 2020. Well, it is titled Orion in depth. So what do we see here? Well, starting off in the upper left, we do see the familiar constellation of Orion, Orion the Hunter, a prominent winter constellation, and one of the brighter constellations in the sky with a number of bright stars and very easy to identify. Now down below in the main image, you can see Orion itself in the little uh, plane off to the left hand side we can see our Earth and then the again the constellation of Orion but then stretching back what we're looking at is actually trying to put this into perspective because when we look at Orion on the sky it makes it look like all of those stars are close together and when we add in the three dimensional effect adding in distance we can see that they are quite different and in fact the two stars at the top of Orion Betelgeuse and Bellatrix are actually much closer closer to us than many of the other stars. So Bellatrix is actually about 250 light years away and is by far the closest of the main stars in Orion. The other stars are also quite different. If you look at the belt of Orion, you can see that there's three stars there. Two of them are very close together. But the third one, actually that middle star, is three times further away. So what does that tell us about the stars? Well, it means that that star much must be intrinsically very, very bright, because it looks about as bright as the other belt stars, but it's three times further away. And that would mean it should look much fainter. So if you look at the numbers given in red for absolute magnitudes, the other two belt stars are pretty close at about minus four, four and a half or minus five, whereas the one there is minus 7.2. And in magnitudes, the smaller the number, the brighter the object. So an absolute mag magnitude is the intrinsic measure of the brightness of a star, how bright that star truly is. So were this star actually as close as the others, it would be one of the brightest stars in Orion, it would outshine the other bright stars significantly. And it's only a chance of perspective that it happens to lie along that same line of sight near those other stars giving us the three stars in the belt of Orion. So if it were actually much closer, it would be about three times closer would make it many times brighter and would outshine even something like Betelgeuse. So it would actually be even brighter than that. So as you look at this, it's very interesting to see what the what Orion actually looks like. It also means if you could somehow travel out to distances in space that the constellations would look very different. You would have to travel many hundreds of light years, but you could travel to a point in the sky where uh, you know, Betelgeuse is on one side of the sky and Rigel is on the other. They would no longer be part of a constellation. The constellations are just what we happen to see from our point in space. Now that wouldn't change from anywhere here in the solar system if you were to travel elsewhere in the solar system, or even to relatively nearby stars, there would be very little change. But if you could travel out hundreds of light years, you could actually see very different constellations and very different patterns would appear as the constellations really are just what we see here on Earth. And we get that in our picture here today where we can see all of those distances for Orion and how those uh, objects that make up the constellation are actually very spread out in distance from the Earth. So that was our picture of the day for September the 19th of 2020. It was titled Orion in depth. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be breaking distant light. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.